In the early 1950s, after the Second World War, the province of Pampanga became a breeding ground of communism, threatening the safety and faith of the Kapampangans. Bishop Cesar Maria Guerrero, the first bishop of the newly established Diocese of San Fernando, witnessed the social unrest as he visited families and parishes around the province. Moved by the miserable state of the Kapampangans, the good bishop thought of a way to erase communism and socialism in Pampanga. On the third Sunday of February in the year 1952, Bishop Guerrero founded the Cruzada de Caridad y Buena Voluntad, or Crusade of Charity and Goodwill, during an assembly held in Bacolor. To symbolize the seven sorrows of the Blessed Virgin Mary, seven reputable women, known for their charity and goodwill, were chosen to become Damas de Caridad. These women are in charge of gathering and distributing lama, or relief goods, for the less fortunate. Bishop Guerrero placed the Cruzada under the patronage of the Virgen de los Remedios because the title mirrors the need of the province to be remedied of the social afflictions through the intercession of the Blessed Mother. In May 1, 1952, the Cruzada commenced in the town of Masantol, accompanied by the image of the Virgen de los Remedios from Balito. Holy Masses were offered, the Rosary was recited, and Lamak was increased. Moreover, peace and concern for the poor started to flourish in every town visited by the Cruzada. But more importantly, the faith of the Kapampangans was restored as they fervently prayed for the intercession of the Virgen de los Remedios. In spite of the continuous success of the Cruzada, it was halted because the people of Baliti asked that the image of the Virgin be brought back to their church. As a response, the image was returned to Baliti and Bishop Guerrero commissioned a new image of the Virgen de los Remedios to accompany the Cruzada. In November 23 of 1954, the Cruzada de Caridad y Buena Voluntad was renamed Cruzada de Penitencia y Caridad or Crusade of Penitence and Charity. The image of Santo Cristo del Perdón was introduced in the Cruzada to call for repentance among the people and to remind them that the Blessed Virgin leads us to Jesus Christ. Seven Caballeros de Cristo were chosen to accompany the Santo Cristo. Seven is a symbolic number that represents the seven archangels adoring the Triune God. The Cruzada continued through the years, and the devotion to the Virgen de los Remedios and Santo Cristo del Perdón grew stronger, sparking the end of communism in Pampanga. Countless conversions and miracles were attributed to the Cruzada through the intercession of the Kamampangan's patroness, their Hindu. As a testament of the strong devotion to the Blessed Virgin, the Kapampangans through Bishop Guerrero made the petition to the Holy Father, Pope Pius XII, to canonically crown the Virgen de los Remedios, Hindu ng Kapaldanan. Soon thereafter, the decree on the canonical coronation of the image was issued. On September 8, 1956, the Virgen de los Remedios was canonically crowned in the provincial grounds before thousands of devout Catholics from different parts of the province. This year, 2016, coinciding with the extraordinary Jubilee Year of Mercy, the Kapampangan celebrate the 60th anniversary of the canonical coronation of the Virgen de los Remedios in Duni Kapaldanan, Tula, May the Mother of Mercy bring us closer to her Son and inspire us to become merciful like the Father. Santo Cristo del Perdón, Pakaluluan mo kami. Virgen de los Remedios, Induning Kapaldanan, Tula, Nipapang. Panalangin mo kami.